Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a friend related reading. This is about your soulmate and we're going to be doing about your lobster. So if you don't know what, who your lobster is or what your lobster is or means, I'm just going to put a little clip up here just to show you. It's basically in a friend's episode, one of the characters called Phoebe is talking about the lobsters and how they hold their hands and how they walk around the tank. So basically when you find your lobster it's that you found your soulmate. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be looking into your soulmate, who they are and all the details around that. So let's get started with your reading. So we have group number one, group number two, group number three and group number four. And we're going to be putting some crystals on the cards now. So if you prefer to choose from crystals, these are the four groups. We have group number one, two, three, and four. Please choose your group now. Uh, time stamps will be down below and in the description box. And please pause the video if you need some more time. So let's get started into reading and let's see who is your lobster. So we have group number one, first one we're gonna start off with. Hello group number one, welcome back to my channel. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys, you guys chose the little quote that says, I'll be there for you. So we're gonna put that little guy there. So first of all, we're gonna look at the oracle cards and then we'll look at the tarot. This is a friend's tarot, so we'll look at that in just a second. So the crystal card you guys chose was the pyrite. So pyrite is really good for wealth. It's very good for masculine energy and it's really good for kind of creating abundance physically. So I do feel like for you guys, the person you're gonna be manifesting who is your lobster is going to be somebody who is quite masculine. Obviously, if you're wanting a feminine or you're not really too bothered on the gender, then just be, you know, take it as it resonates basically. So don't, don't fixate too much on the gender because we all have masculine and feminine energies. I do feel like your person is very strong. They are a very strong person emotionally and physically. And there's somebody who will, I'm hearing they'll give the world to you. And the fact we have, have I'll be there for you, I feel like this person is very, 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 very loyal. Okay, so let's have a look at your oracle cards first. So we have Silver Sisters. This says, time to take protection from toxic thoughts and energies. We then have, oh, I've got lots of bits on my <laughs> on my table. We have Courage. We have number nine as well, so that might be significant for some of you guys. And then we also have the Waning Crescent, the Full Moon, and Gemini. So you guys can meet your person on the Full Moon in Gemini. Also, this could represent that you guys are a have a Moon in Gemini. Your person could have Moon in Gemini. So with the Full Moon, the Full Moon represents the harvesting endeavors, receiving a gift from the past intentions and beginning to look inward. So for you guys, this person is a very internal person. There's someone who's also very creative. There's somebody who really likes to look after you and they take pride in themselves looking after you and they really enjoy being around people. They're a very people person. They could be quite introverted though. They are very artistic, I'm feeling. Also with the waning crescent, the waning crescent represents surrender, a time for recuperation and rest. So for you guys as person, when you meet them, it will most likely be in a very chill environment. And you'll most likely, I feel like for you guys, I'm hearing that you may meet them obviously on a full moon or a waning crescent moon. But also I feel like when you let go of toxic energies or toxic thoughts about yourself or your love life or anything like that, I feel like this is going to expand your horizons and also when you have courage in yourself and possibly take that leap of faith that you may be possibly avoiding you know avoiding is it obviously for um everyone's different intention but i feel like for you guys it could be that you even meet a friend and then that's how you meet them it's in various different ways and for the timing for you guys i'm getting a number three but also number nine so it could be between three and nine months but obviously take that as it resonates because everyone's on a different path I feel like for you guys, you've had to be really courageous in your love life. You've had to wait possibly longer than what you've wanted to. A lot of us normally do. It's not fun. Um, but it is worth it. It's worth that waiting time because you're going to get somebody who really, really suits you. And you're going to find somebody who's very much on your wavelength. Someone who's really, really there for you. Okay, so uh, is there anything else that wants to come through? I do feel like this person's going to be like your twin almost. They're going to be very, very similar to you. So if I've said anything about this person already and you're thinking that's a lot like me, then that's a good sign, okay? So is that all? Okay, so that's what they want to tell me for that. So let's carry on and move on into your tarot. And then we're going to have a look into your charms and things like that. I have lots of bits on my table. I do apologise, guys. You can hear it underneath the cards. Okay, so let's have a look into 
Let's have a look into the Oracle cards first. Let's have a look at this. So what are you bringing into this relationship? Okay, someone is bringing in more of a masculine energy, so it could be you or this person, but it could be that you're working on your masculine energy, okay? And then let's have a look at your person. Wow, that was quick. Okay, so this person's got a lot of deep energy. They could be a Scorpio. There's somebody who really is working on their spirituality, and there's somebody who... I'm feeling they need to let go of something. They are definitely letting go. I mean, they could be a Scorpio. We have the Scorpio underneath. I definitely feel that this person needs to let go of the the past. It could be you or them, but also it could be both of you. And that's how you're going to meet your person. That's basically how you're going to come together. I feel like you are definitely transforming and you're letting go of things that really don't serve you anymore. And I feel like you could be a fire sign or you could have like a very fiery aspect to you. So the relationship between you two, oops, is the firefly that just dropped on the floor. <laughs> the firefly. So basically you've been waiting for each other for a very long time. And when you see this person, they're going to literally light you up. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. And you have the unicorn underneath. So you're definitely both of you are working on your spirituality. And I feel like for those of you who have chose who are more of the panther, it's kind of like similar. I mean, the tiger and the panther are very similar energies. The This kind of like... I don't know how to explain it. Can you tell me how to explain it? Fierce, but kind of like intense. So both of you have a fierce, intense energy. And the panther is very much about you kind of acknowledging this person. And I, I feel like it's more about this person's ego. They kind of learn to transform their ego and not to just take from people in that moment. It's kind of like they need to be patient, essentially. They're not just going for whoever kind of comes into their energy. Okay, so let's have a look at your tarot and let's see what's going on for you guys. Okay, so the first card out, is, which is going to be the main energy for you guys, is the Page of Cups. Beautiful. So this is obviously Phoebe in this card, which I absolutely love. So the Page of Cups, really, really strong energy. This is somebody who's very, very loving. This is somebody who's going to be there for you. <laughs> and this is somebody who could be a Pisces as well. This feels just very genuine. It feels like somebody who's really lighthearted. And very just really really nice and sweet and somebody who really takes your feelings into consideration so we're going to see what else about this person and who they are the devil beautiful so i feel like i'm actually seeing the devil as quite a positive energy i'm seeing it as something that i mean i feel like they're learning to be more passionate and learn to let go of any sort of restrictions that they put on themselves around sexuality and kind of karma around it. I feel like they are learning quite a big karmic cycle around their love life. And this person is going to be really, really beautiful. When you meet them, it's going to be like, wow, you're going to notice this person. It's going to be like, oh my God, they're amazing. And the Eight of Swords is all about this person kind of restricting themselves. It could be you restricting yourself too. I definitely feel like one of you is really, really independent. And that could be putting up some walls around your love life. But there's no need to do that, guys. Because I feel like, obviously do that if it makes you feel safe, of course. But... If you feel like it's restricting you from kind of accepting love coming in, then obviously that, that might be something to work on. But you guys are definitely going through a really big life cycle. You're going through a really big transformational process. Obviously, this is Ross. I love the humor in these cards. It's amazing. I feel like you're basically just letting go of everything that no longer serves you in terms of love. And you're, this is going to be a brand new start. So essentially, when you meet this person, it might be quite scary at first. But then as you kind of go along, you realize that it's okay. I just need to kind of balance my emotions as I go along. And the world is all about a brand new start, so a new beginning. And it's going to feel really, really nice. It's going to feel very, very easy. This person might like pizza. They might like kind of um, quite greasy food. But there might just be something that they treat themselves with. They could be a foodie. I'm getting somebody who's like a Pisces or a Taurus. Somebody who's very much into food. And there's somebody who may even work at a coffee shop. Or you might meet them at a coffee shop for your first day as well. So let's have a look at your charm and we're going to pick some zodiac signs. So I've got my little, my little bowl here. Let's get some charms. Okie dokie. So we have the unraveled rose along with the V. So I feel like this could be 
somebody who you meet who begins with a letter V, um, but also it's gonna, your love life is gonna suddenly unravel and it's gonna be really, really beautiful, like really, really easy. So we have Friday, so you can meet them after work. It could be that you give yourself time and space to kind of meet them, like you allow yourself to give yourself that time. We have V, O, A and T. So those could be letters about your person or the situation or the road they live on, things like that. Okay, so we have the shell. So you, they, they could be very much a water sign. Let's get you a star sign. Let's get you some star signs in here. Okay, so we have Cancer and we have Libra. Interesting. Can we get one more, please? And Aquarius. So definitely somebody who's quite independent. You, they could be teaching you independence as well. Um, but we do have the dolphin here. So I do feel like there's some sort of marine kind of aquatic energy about this person. Um, we have the heart and we have a little foot. So I feel like you could easily have a baby with this person. I feel like it's something that could really interest you. We have the little Paris. So travel is going to be very important to you. So little Eiffel Tower. And we have a little key. We actually have two Eiffel Towers. So both of you could be French. One of you could have French ancestors or French family. Um, it could be that travel is just really important to you. And we have two types of butterflies. One of the butterflies is bigger and one of them is smaller. So one of you could be the more transformative energy. So possibly one of you is a Scorpio. One of you is like a Capricorn or something. But also I feel like that one of you is going to help the other transform and help you to come out of your shell, almost like come out of the chrysalis and help you to feel a lot more comfortable with your energy. Because it may be that, that you guys are feeling quite stressed out in your spiritual journey. It may be feeling like quite alone. But then when you meet your person, it's going to be super, 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 super easy. Okay, so that's your reading, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a lovely day. And I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Oh, also, if you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below along with my crystal shop. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello group number two, thank you so much for being here. Let's see who your soulmate is and details about them. So we have the little frame. So if you guys haven't watched Friends before, this is the frame that's on the back of the door in the TV show. So we're gonna have a look at the tarot in just a second and we're gonna move on to that after we've looked at the oracle cards. So the crystal you guys got is green calcite. So for green calcite, this is all about your heart wanting to listen. And it could be for Libras as well. This could be a group for Libras because this is all about Libras, it says on this card. And this is very much about the heart chakra opening. And I feel like for you guys, you could have been really consciously working on your heart chakra recently. And this is really about you expanding your heart, kind of being, I'm hearing being interested in people you may have never thought you would be interested in. And it's just gonna help you to open up to love and open up to the possibility of meeting somebody new, okay? I feel like for you guys, you are very enthusiastic about love. You could have that very strong Libra energy in your chart, but also it could mean that you guys just really want balance in your love life and you really wanna just create that gorgeous energy. Okay, so we have a special place, finding your own safe space inside and out. We have generosity. I actually read that as curiosity, so that's interesting. We have Scorpio, we have Lunar Eclipse, and we also have the 11th house. So you can meet your person in some sort of group situation. It could be um, in an Aquarian energy. So it could be like a, a spiritual group. It could be some sort of humanitarian group. It could be a, working like a charity shop or kind of volunteering. It could also be that you guys meet your person near your home because we have her special place. This is very much to do with the fourth house. But it could also be once you guys have discovered um, your balance in your life and then that's when your person can easily kind of come into your life. This new energy can kind of come in. So I feel like you're learning to uh, generate generosity. I feel like you're learning to, with your open heart, I feel like you're learning to be very gentle with your heart and you're learning to just be more generous with your energy. Maybe you are kind of, I'm hearing a recluse, <laughs> but I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean, just maybe you're very, you're very gentle energy. You're very sensitive. So it may be that you have to be more kind of choosing of who you who you spend your time with, but also you're learning to manifest kind of better energies for you. And I feel like you're manifesting much more deeper, deeper, deeper relationships with others. I don't feel like it's just romantic. I feel like it is friends as well. It could be that you meet a Scorpio, but also with the lunar eclipse. Let me see what the lunar eclipse represents here. So the lunar eclipse represents 
occurs with full moons and are more powerful versions of the full moon. Deep transformation and sudden change. Well, the fact that it says transformation, we have Scorpio, that's very intense. So you guys are literally going to go through a massive like awakening or transformation or tower moment. And then you're going to meet your person. It's almost like they're not going to come in yet until this transformation occurs. It feels like something just needs to click in. So also it's about finding your safe space and this is about being okay with who you are and how gentle your energy is and how good that is and how amazing you are and being okay with feeling like that because sometimes it can be very overwhelming being so open hearted because you are being very vulnerable but that's okay there's nothing wrong with that it's just learning to handle that energy and for you guys what what uh crystal would suit you very well is something like black onyx or tourmaline because that will reflect any negative energies that affect you especially if you guys are super sensitive or empathic i feel like you guys are going through a massive gigantic rebirth within your love life as well like you're learning to really accept yourself and also just be authentic and just really be yourself and i know i do know if libra is in strong placements in your in people's charts is it can really really affect your confidence and it can really affect the way you manifest love because it can mean that basically you put others before yourself and sometimes that can really affect how you are in love and I feel like to pull a card from this love deck so I'm going to do that right now okay so we have illusion so this is something you're letting go of you're letting go of the illusion that you know you can't manifest somebody you're letting go of that and you're learning to just be yourself let's pull one more we have signals so for you guys you're going to get lots of signs about your love life there's going to be somebody coming in who will help you to manifest your love life so it could be a friend it could be they really help you with your emotional journey they help you to feel more confident but also it could mean that they are a sign that you are manifesting long-term relationships but also in a friend first to kind of prepare you for your love life okay so before we look into the tarot, we're going to pick one more um, oracle deck just to see a little bit more about the situation. So we're going to have a look into you in this relationship first, and then we're going to have a look at your person. So let's have a look at you and see how you're coming into this relationship. Who are you in this relationship, please? Whoa, okay. Definitely having a rebirth. Wow, that's crazy. So learning to speak your truth and just be authentic and to when there's something that needs to be said you're really saying it so your person do I want all of these do I want all of these don't want this one okay we want all of them okay let's just keep all of them so we have the rabbit we have the frog and we have the zebra it's funny because a lot of the times when I do these sorts of readings and I pull this deck out no other love no other readings do i do that more than one card comes out so it's always love readings i think they're kind of picking up on the different energies of the person and obviously this is a general reading so it's going to resonate with people differently so with the rabbit this is someone very sensitive this is someone working on their emotions i mean we have earth water and fire so essentially this person is learning to ground themselves but also to open up to their own emotions as well they could be somebody who struggles with emotions or really kind of they could be going for a very big spiritual awakening because we have the zebra with the third eye shark kind of opening and with with you i feel like you're more intuitive they're more of kind of learning to bring in that intuition so they have all the things that you have but they're kind of late to the party i'm hearing but in a different way so they're very they're very grounded they're somebody who's really good at manifesting money and manifesting physical aspects but they are somebody who does struggle a little bit with emotions doesn't mean they're they you know they can't be emotional with you it's just because this is such a big change for them in their love life i feel like it's going to really change how you're interacting with them so essentially when they when you come into contact with this person it's going to be a brand new situation so for you guys i feel like you're easily could meet this person in like one month to for those of you who haven't been single for too long like about a year i feel like it's going to be another year or so until you meet this person about six months for those of you who have been single for at least like four five ten years this could easily be like a month a week i'm actually hearing around halloween or you could be born around halloween or something could be significant around halloween okay that's what i'm picking up so the relationship between you two i feel like you're learning to just really be authentic and not to i'm hearing no passive aggressiveness you're not being passive aggressive you're literally just saying it how it is yeah a very spiritual relationship this person's going to help you to open up your spirituality and vice versa and you both have this really big solar plexus sacral energy that you're harvesting for already for this relationship so both of you could easily have a baby together if that's something that you want um marriage i'm hearing children even maybe a puppy or a kitten or something but also if you already have children i do see they're going to come together really easily it's going to be a really nice family energy 
you are definitely breaking out of something that's old and outdated and you're really kind of manifesting this gorgeous new part of you and also with the egg and the bird obviously this is to do with kind of rebirth and birthing and obviously birds come from eggs so you're essentially starting anew with your love life okay so let's get the tarot and let's see what's going on with you guys so the main energy for you guys is the knight of cups beautiful so actually group number one got the page of cups so that's really good so for you guys um you could be meeting somebody who's a lot like this character from friends he is i don't find him the best character i feel like he's a little bit ditzy but he's very very nerdy he's somebody who is very very smart very very intelligent so obviously it doesn't have to be a male but it can be somebody who is quite nerdy somebody who's very interested in science or somebody who's just really interested in or has a lot of interests somebody could they could also be a water sign and they could also like to give you gifts and presents and things like that. But also they could like to do cozy things like going to a coffee shop and things like that. Okay. So let's have a look at your love life. Let's see what's coming in for you guys. Okay. So that one of those cards popped out. I can't remember which one it was that just popped out. But I kind of heard no competition. No more competition. Like for you guys you may have had to com almost compete to manifest your person. And when I say compete it's not like actually like a game. But it could feel like you have to almost force force your relationship to manifest and have to be this completely different person and be exactly like this person wants you to be and now you're just being authentically you because at the end of the day if you're man if you're wanting to be like the person you're with then you're you're only manifesting one person you're only being one person in the relationship you want to be two people two different people with two different opinions Definitely this person likes to give you gifts. This is obviously Joey here with all the presents. There's somebody who's, who's got quite a lot of money as well, quite a lot of wealth. There's somebody who has definitely kind of climbed the ladder. They could be quite a bit older than you. I'm hearing actually some of you guys' person is 30. So obviously if you are a teenager, that's not going to resonate. But for those of you who are in your mid to late 20s, I feel like that's going to be how old your person is. So this person is very dedicated to you. There's somebody who's definitely going to be starting a new cycle with you because you are manifesting this gorgeous Aries type powerful energy you're able to manifest like a brand new cycle and look how we have the knight of cups and the knight of wands we have this gorgeous like two horses so both you're gonna kind of go on your horse together it's kind of like not so much a fairy tale where like the woman goes on the man's horse it's kind of like you both have your own horse so you're like i'm an independent woman but i want my man you know <laughs> you know what i'm saying so with the nine of wands you guys have definitely been through a lot you have been through so much it says the resilience of modern homo sapien i love that so essentially you guys have been through so many stages in your life you're fed up with kind of competing and changing yourself and altering things you just want to be yourself so I feel like for you guys, you're really going to manifest something that is just so good for you. And you've been through, I feel like, so many different types of relationships. It doesn't actually have to be romantic. But I feel like you've learned so much and really kind of learning to be your own person. Because with, with being an empath especially, it's not like you forget who you are. But because you want to help the person that you're with or assist them or help them, you know kind of their en lift their energy and kind of lift their vibration you can kind of begin to miss who you are because you're helping this person and you're not being your authentic self you know so being your most authentic self is being yourself helping yourself and letting the person do what they need to do because you're going to ma manifest somebody who's already essentially sorted and knows themselves really really well so with this queen of wands we also have some flowers and a little cute, cute little black cat but also we have this crown here so look out for those sort of symbols and we also have um monica as a sphinx and ross as a sphinx so look out for sphinx and things like that i feel like there's some sort of significance around kind of egyptian times but also around the color yellow i'm really really feeling that your person could also have blonde hair or brown hair could be but also i feel like for those of you who are manifesting a male or a masculine black hair those of you who are manifesting a feminine most likely blonde or light brown hair that's kind of what i'm feeling but obviously as i said take it as it resonates so let's get your charms let's get your charms okay let's see what charms want to come through i am hearing the name monica obviously that is a character from friends so i do feel like some of you guys could actually be called monica um, you could also manifest somebody called Monica. It doesn't have to be a relationship, it can be a friendship, but it could be a relationship as well. Let's get you some more charms. I want to get like little ones here. Don't want those. Those. And let's get you some star signs. Okay. 
So the star signs we have here are Taurus, Aquarius and Aries, beautiful energies, very, very strong, very headstrong. This person is in their head a lot. They need to kind of meditate to bring that down. That's why I think there's somebody who can struggle with intuition because they are in their structural kind of 3D mind and that can really affect their intuitive thoughts, but there's nothing really bad about that. So we have A, O, G, we have two A's, I love that. We have the days of Saturday and Sunday. So that could be the dates when you meet your person. It could be on a weekend. We have this gorgeous little jewel here. So this is somebody who's going to be quite, I'm hearing quite expensive. There's somebody who has high standards for themselves, really thinks about themselves um, in a high way. So you can manifest somebody who's really good at boundaries. Very, very nice. Somebody who has already, is already ready for love. There's somebody I'm hearing who will undress you. So for those of you who want to be intimate, that is really, really good. And there's somebody who could have a already have a son i'm also just seeing like a young little boy from this rose because i'm obviously like a baby blue color um so something about a boy it may not be anything related to them it might even be like a well related in a sense that it's not their son it may be their nephew it may be something like that so we have yeah i'm seeing i'm hearing like a sister's son so it could be like their nephew so that when you see them with their nephew uh, obviously this is for some of you guys it could be that you see them and that's how you kind of manifest this relationship with them because you see them as being a really good father or or um father or mother to your children and that's how you kind of think oh this is going to be a really good relationship so there's somebody who is going to fly in really nicely very easy no kind of struggles at all they're going to be somebody who's very angelic and is very going to be connected to their archangels so they might have a certain archangel that they really really connect to so we have this queen uh crown so i feel like for you guys it's definitely about like I'm hearing Crown and Glory. I don't know if you've, uh, some of you guys have seen the Princess Diaries, but I'm hearing that song called Crown and Glory in my head. Very random, but might be a synchronicity. And um, we also have a cat. So you guys might get a cat, but also look out for black cats kind of crossing your path. I don't ever see, I mean, I don't really take anything as like a bad omen or anything like that, because I think that that's, I mean, there's enough bad stuff in this world. You might as well make it good, you know? So I feel like with black cats, I see them as something very positive. I think they're very gorgeous. I think they're very spiritual. So I think you're going to manifest this gorgeous, new, cute energy in your life. It's very playful, very young, feminine as well. Very light. So that is your reading, guys. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. If you'd like to purchase anything from my crystal shop, all that information is also down below. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello group number three. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys chose the you're the Monica to my Rachel. Oh, I love that. So you guys could be manifesting a friendship as well because Monica and Rachel are best friends in, in the TV show Friends. So you guys could be manifesting a really beautiful friendship along with a romantic partner. Okay so the crystal you guys chose is the Libyan gold tectite. So it says, when your get up and go has ghosted you, hold Libyan gold tectite or this card at your will center just above the navel and set some goals. Seriously, make a list, then call on the fiery beyond ancient energy of this stone to help you break through the burning desire to binge watch the day away. So essentially for you guys, it could be about you having your drive back. You guys could be feeling very kind of lackluster in your relationship. Um, I don't have this heard the word was lackluster for a very long time so it's definitely a channel message right there i feel like you guys are really kind of opening up your solar plexus allowing yourself to embrace change and feel comfortable with change because change might be quite hard for you guys i mean as a human being it is hard to to create change or have change sometimes so for you guys it's really embracing that energy and i do feel like there's something around your solar plexus is about confidence and manifesting somebody have the confidence to know that you will manifest somebody and also you may be feeling quite kind of down about your career or something like that and just thinking that I'm not going to manifest anything. You will guys, it's just a timing thing and sometimes there's something that is kind of in the way. But we'll pull some tarot just in a minute and we'll have a look and see that in a little bit more detail. Okay, so let's start off with the oracle cards. We have, oh, we have two here. Okay, this one first. Unicorn and the Maiden, communication with unicorn, purification, undercover action. So if you guys, unicorns could be quite a big synchronicity. We have 10 and 20. So somebody who is essentially your Monica to your Rachel, it's like the connection is so easy and you're like twins, essentially. I don't feel like twin flames, but twins. So we have pride. Okay, let's move these cards over a little bit. Okay, and we then have Uranus. 
Aries, beautiful. And we have the Solar Eclipse. So in the book here, with Solar Eclipse, it says, occurs with new moon and are more powerful versions of the new moon. Powerful energy to start over with a clean slate. Exactly, that's what I feel like you're doing. Um, with this littlest fairy, it says, appreciate the beauty and value of the exquisite and the small. So I feel like you guys are essentially coming into a brand new start and it might have taken quite a long time for you to get started on this new thing or actually manifest this new thing. So for you guys, it's about kind of focusing on what you can control. And Aries is the first, Aries is the leader. And in this uh, deck here in the book, with Aries, it says their strengths are brave, direct, independent, just, innocent, assertive, headstrong. Their weaknesses are aggressive, self-centered, pushy, inconsistent, selfish, loud and bad tempered. So this person is essentially learning to control their pride. It could be you as well. And also because they are so independent, it can be almost a block away from love. So it could be that they're learning to kind of work with their pride and work with that part of them that feels insecure and unsafe. I do feel like a solar eclipse could be a really big synchronicity around timing. So you can manifest somebody on a solar eclipse or around a solar eclipse where it's really, really significant. It could be something around the sun conjuncting Uranus or something because I feel like Uranus is a very, very big energy. It's about that kind of intense change. So I feel like that's what you guys are going through. And we do have purification and undercover action. So basically there is gonna be some sort of communication coming in from somebody but it's going to be very unique and individual so I don't feel like it's going to be somebody you're going to be expecting and it, it feels like the, you're, you're getting a lot of change under the surface so you may not even know what's kind of going on with you guys right now you might be feeling a bit weird or health wise or he head wise there might be a lot of stuff going on in your head that you're kind of like this is weird um, but that's basically all the stuff that's going on behind the scenes and it could be your person's working on pride as well your person could be in Aries or you could be in Aries as well Okay, so let's get some more oracle cards and then we're going to move on to the tarot. So let's see how you are showing up in this connection. Let's give you a little bit of a shuffle. Okay, let's see about you in the connection. Ooh, beautiful, taking flight. We love, we love. Okay, let's have a look at your person. I feel like your person could be a Pisces, easily be a Pisces. Okay, this is interesting. This is very similar to group number two. Pretty sure they had the hummingbird and the black egg as well. Yeah, so basically you are kind of coming into this really big stage of, gen I'm hearing genuinity. I don't think that's a word, but I'm hearing genuine. So for this person that you're dealing with, obviously swap the roles if you feel the need to. I feel like you on this side have been the hummingbird. I feel like you are, have been waiting for a very long time for your thing to manifest. And because when you meet your person, everything is going to be aligned. So essentially your mental health is going to be really good. Your health is going to be good. And everything is going to come into one blob. So that's you as the hummingbird on your own. This person, because they're showing up as three energies and we also have the birds kind of looking at the egg, essentially this person is waiting to combine all these things together. So when, when you meet this person, they're going to be probably in the middle stages of their spiritual awakening, whereas you already have been there, done that, you know, got the jacket, you know, all that jazz. <laughs> so let's have a look at the relationship between you two. Let's see what it's going to be like. So obviously this person's going for a really big transformation. Yep, the moth, literally transformation here. So your person's going through a really big transformation. They're kind of finding themselves and they're finding themselves through the darkness. They've been searching for the light for a very long time. And it could be that light being their spiritual awakening. They've kind of found the light. And the crow is essentially you sitting on top of so much potential. This person is essentially doing that and they're learning to really speak their truth. They could be very much a water sign turtle. I feel that always represents the water sign. Somebody's very gentle, very genuine and the nightingale is all about them speaking their truth this person is learning to open their heart chakra learning to open up their sacral and their root and also their crown so quite a lot of different chakras going on with this person they are going to feel a little bit confused when they meet you because but also really really excited it's almost like they're kind of 
practicing their new energy it's like they're not they're not used to being so intuitively open and they're going to be ready for you when they when you meet this person it's going to be like Shoo! and you're going to meet them straight away like really really quickly i feel so in terms of timing for you guys i am picking up on one to three that's what i'm hearing that like one dash three so for you guys it could be one to three months one to three weeks i'm actually hearing the the month of november could be quite significant and also the number six so just take it as it resonates so Basically, we have a lot of air in this energy. We have hummingbird, we have the moth crow and the nightingale, all of this air energy. So this person's going to be communicating with you. They're going to be kind of giving you that connection very easily. They're, when they speak to you, it's going to be super, 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 super quick. Like they're, they're going to talk really, really fast. But there's somebody who has so many ideas and you're going to think this person is very, very intelligent, very genuine person. Alrighty. So let's have a look at the tarot for you guys and let's see what the main energy around your relationship is. We have the Four of Wands. Wow, you guys have got some really beautiful cards. So the Four of Wands is obviously about stability. It's about connection. It's about a genuine romantic energy. Marriage, it's about celebration. All of those gorgeous things. So I love that. That is so beautiful. Okay, so I love the fact we have Ross and Rachel. They are the main characters and friends, if you didn't know. So this is going to basically show that you guys are are made for each other but also you may have gone through a little bit of bumps in the way so you could have even known this person before i feel like for a lot of you guys you, you don't know this person yet because it's almost like i'm hearing they can't come in yet because they'll affect your energy and you're not ready yet so it feels like because they're such a strong energy and you have such a strong connection with them it will almost just affect the progress and the process of you meeting them so it's kind of like you need to be Oh my god, I've got massive Aquarian energy and you have the star, I love that. So you guys are ready for this new star. It is gonna be it is gonna be in divine timing. So you guys, you may feel like you've lost out, you may feel like you're not gonna manifest this person, or you may have gone through quite a big transformation, you may have lost your job. Obviously, I'm not like gonna predict that for you guys as a future thing. It, you would already lost your job or you know, retired or quit. It feels like you are ready for a new start. But I feel like you've had to be, you're having to be very patient with your love life, okay? But that's okay because it's meant to happen. So with the Seven of Wands, you have been through quite a few difficult relationships. It doesn't have to be romantic, but you have been through quite a few difficult things. And it has caused you to cut people out of your life, which is good. You don't want to be around negative energy. But you have been waiting for this stability. You are waiting for this stability and you are going to get it. So don't go with somebody who is not your energy. Be very aware of your energy and how you're interacting with others. But also, it's kind of like you don't have to change yourself for anyone, okay? You don't have to change who you are. You just got to be your own independent person. But also, it's kind of like make sure you're living your life but while you're waiting, essentially waiting for your person to come in because you need to create your own personality so you can be whole. You both can be whole together. Essentially, one whole person, another whole person, and then you come together. I don't really like when people say two halves of a whole because essentially when you're a half, you're not complete, you know? So obviously that's my own opinion. Obviously, I'm not taking it too seriously, but we do have the fall. So essentially, once you can kind of get out of your own head that you can't manifest somebody, you will essentially start a brand new cycle. I think you have to have more confidence in your journey, I feel. Those of you, some of you may not have much kind of trust in the universe which is totally okay like when you've been through so much rubbish it can feel very 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 hard um also this could be a dress that some of you guys might even have i'm hearing some of you guys might even have a dress like oops give me a card um you guys might have a dress like this card um it could be like this color or this style but this could also be like your wedding it could be that could be a photo that looks like your wedding day or something it could be very very synchronistic I do feel like I'm concentrating a lot on the sword. So I do feel like your person could have a lot of air in their chart. Um, but also they're just really good at communicating. They're somebody who stands their ground. But also you do not have to change yourself for this person. You do not have to change yourself at all. You just got to be your whole authentic self. And also when somebody comes in, be discerning. But also don't try and push them away straight away. Kind of give them a chance. But obviously use your intuition. I think that's why you guys need to build up your intuition here. Meditation is going to serve you so well. I feel like you guys do not meditate in enough but obviously that is just the channel message i'm getting i just feel like the universe will catch you okay so you just got to trust that things will be okay obviously if you can't that is honestly totally fine just give yourself a break and allow yourself to you know just give yourself a chance you know it's going to be okay so let's get you a charm i'm gonna shuffle this around i'm seeing you guys on a roller coaster so that could be a first date that you have 
So I thought you guys, some of you guys might be a dog walker. That's what I'm hearing. I want to get some more letters. I want to get quite a few letters actually. So let's get, let's get some letters. Whoa, what was that? That was a little heart. Okay, let's put her back in. All right, so we have the letters S, T. We have two T's. I'm hearing stumbling, the word stumbling. So you, for you guys, it may have been quite difficult for you to manifest love or manifest a relationship that really suits you. But you are definitely on a new path. You're definitely starting anew, which is really good. We have no. I feel like that kind of is like stop, no. No. <laughs> uh, we have Q and we have A. So basically you guys could be asking this person a lot of questions when you are on the first date with this person. This is, I feel like for a lot of you, this is somebody you don't know. This could be somebody, it could even be somebody from your childhood. You could meet them like networking or something, or they could be part of your like journey around work. Um, we have the, the day of Thursday, so that could be quite significant. We have the hearts together and we have heart here. So lots of heart energy. Definitely gonna open up a new, brand new part of you. They're gonna open up like a childlike energy within you. We have the little shell here. So that's all about um, water and that watery energy. We have this cute little rainbow. So it could be all about your journey kind of opening up and rainbows could be a very big synchronicity. We have these skulls. So ending a new cycle, and I, sorry, ending an old cycle and starting a new one. You guys could have felt really, really sad or currently be feeling very sad about an ex or wanting to end a relationship but having tr having struggles and troubles kind of breaking off that connection. And this is a sign that you're doing the best you can and you're doing a really, really good job. So if this person is toxic, you made the right decision, okay? But also we have this tower. So you could be very connected to Paris or France, but also I feel like this person has French or a French parent. You could be manifesting a French partner, but also I feel like you guys are very world related. I feel like you like to travel. You like the thought of traveling. You really like to expand your knowledge with languages. Um, this marble always rep represents the world to me. So starting a brand new cycle with this person. So thank you so much for watching guys. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. If you'd like to check out my crystal shop, also down below. Thank you so much for being here guys. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number four. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So we have the cute little central perk. So this is the one you chose. This could be that you meet this person in a coffee shop or they may be working in a coffee shop and that's how you meet them, that sort of thing. My petals look really skewed where I shuffled the cards. Okay, so let's start off with your crystal card and we're gonna look at the tarot in just a moment. So we'll put her there. So for your crystal, you have Kunzite. So it says, call on Kunzai after a breakup or a major disappointment or when you're beating yourself up about something. You don't need permission to be here. You belong. If you forget that, pause, tap into Kunzai's pink prismatic vibration and let love rule. Open your love channel. I feel like for you guys, I'm seeing you guys motivating yourself in the mirror and you're like pointing at yourself and saying, you can do it, you can do it. I also feel like you guys might need to nap and sleep. I'm just getting up really strongly. So if you guys need to take a break, take a break. So, Kunzai is really good for love. It's very good at attracting and opening the heart chakra on a very feminine way. So if you guys are struggling with your feminine energy or you're struggling to uh, be the independent feminine person that you are, obviously if you're a masculine, then we all have feminine energy, just take it as it resonates. But I feel like for you guys, you'll learn to assert your feminine energy and really kind of bring that up. I'm gonna grab a tarot card. I feel need to grab one right now. So let's see what we have, justice. I feel like you are definitely getting justice for your love life. That's kind of what I'm feeling with the card of truth. This is very much about truth being revealed and the number 11 could be quite significant. I feel the need to do that. Let's put you one more. We have defeat. So for you guys, it could be that you have been defeated over and over again. Your heart has really been kind of pulled in different directions and you're learning to really not accept defeat, learning to just be yourself and learn to just focus on who you are. So let's have a look at your oracle cards. We have once was innocent, knowledge means change, number 28. So this is a number 10, so a brand new cycle. Elegance, beautiful. So can we meet someone who's very elegant? Sagittarius, sixth house of service, and the third house. So this energy here, it feels like this is somebody who really likes to open their heart with caring. So they're, very, they're a very caring person. They could be a Virgo, also a Gemini as well. 
Okay, so you could like lilies. Lilies could be one of your favorite flowers. It could be that your name is Lily or you wanna name your child Lily, something like that. Um, with the Sagittarius energy, this person really likes to travel. This is somebody who's very, very determined when they wanna do something, they wanna friggin' do it and they're gonna go for it. <laughs> Um, this is somebody who is very, very strong-minded. You both have been through massive amounts of change in your love life. And for this person, you can meet them when you're out running. It could be that you meet them when you go to the gym because the sixth house is all about exercise and workouts and health. So it could be that as well. It could be you meet them after you've gone through a really big health change or health journey. This is somebody who's also very intellectual. They have a lot of knowledge and there's somebody who is, I'm hearing has a lot of, I'm hearing spectrum like colors, like the rainbow. We have the rainbow here and this beautiful little dragon butterfly. So this is somebody who has a lot of attributes to them. They're very, very sensitive. There's somebody who's open to change. And I think before they used to not be very open to change, but now they are. There's somebody who I'm hearing they have new neighbors. So you could meet this person as a neighbor. They could be somebody who lives near you. Um, or there's somebody who recently just moved house when you meet them. That could be quite a big synchronicity. Also, I feel like your person's very elegant. It could be that you see yourself as somebody who's quite elegant as well. But it's also just about embracing change and not letting things get on top of you in terms of like, oh, I'm not going to manifest somebody or nobody's going to come in because, you know, I'm not lovable. Don't talk to yourself like that, guys. That's why I'm seeing you guys like pointing at yourself and being like, no, you can do this because you've been through so much change. You've been through so much. You have so much wisdom. I feel like you guys have a very light energy and sometimes people can take that for granted. So I feel like you'll really learn to appear and bulk your energy up, almost like protein powder, but for your energy. So you could be learning to uh, sage yourself and kind of bringing more crystals into your energy so you can really balance yourself out. Because when we are very sensitive, we are normally quite sensitive to crystals and things like that. That's essentially why we have crystals so we can balance our energies out. Okay, so let's have a look at your person and you. So let's see who you are in this relationship. Okay, cute. Very humorous, someone who's very light, very delicate, someone who's learning to enjoy the fun side of life. Let's have a look at your person. Had the raccoon and the bat. So I feel like you're more of the lighter energy. You could even have been be the Sag or it could be this person. Both of you are learning to not hold back with your emotions. You're both learning to open up and be vulnerable. And that can be quite hard. So some of you guys might use kind of humor as a coping mechanism, which is obviously totally fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I also feel like you are in a very good space when you meet your person. I think you have definitely learned so so much and learned to be authentic and individualistic and the raccoon and the bat I feel like this person is going really deeply inward when you meet this person they're going to have come out of something quite dark or quite intense and they have gone through a really big awakening so we have the earth and the air so essentially they're working a lot with their root and their crown so basically they are learning to manifest abundance through intuition so they may not be too intuitive like now but when you meet them they're going to be like this gorgeous open i'm hearing open-ended person so there's somebody who doesn't they, they don't judge i feel like they didn't judge in the, in the first place but they're saying they didn't they don't judge and for you you're being represented as the water and the fire so essentially two opposites and i feel like you are learning to have confidence but also work with your emotions in a good way and healthy way as well you're learning to just accept what comes up is natural and that's okay. So let's have a look at the relationship. I feel like you need to give yourself a pat on the back. It's kind of like I'm hearing you guys need more confidence with yourself because you guys really put yourself down and you're quite, you're very, very intelligent. And I think that can also be a downfall because you think so much and you want to help and you want to fix. And I think it's something that you need to work on in terms of like, just allowing yourself to be who you are and allowing others to be who they are and obviously not get caught up in all the drama, you know. But obviously you're doing the best you can and I do feel like you are going to be a very calm person in this relationship. I'm going to, I think, essentially the biggest change you're going to feel, and this feels like a very big message, is that you're going to feel super, super calm with your person. You're going to feel really, really enlightened and this person is going to be amazing for you. The intimacy is going to be gorgeous as well when you are together in the in like a dark room and it's going to be really romantic. 
I feel like you guys are just going to embrace each other and it's going to be really cute. And the elephant here is showing me that you guys are going to be lighting a flame that you thought was kind of gone, which sounds quite sad. But honestly, guys, I think you guys need to give yourself more credit. I think because possibly you've been single for quite a while, you think, oh, I'm not going to manifest anyone. Or maybe you've never manifested a relationship or haven't had one yet. And that's okay. A relationship doesn't, doesn't define your life. A relationship is just something that we experience and we experience it in our own time you know it's essentially a divine timing thing the universe knows what we're doing you know <laughs> the universe knows <laughs> all knowing universe i do feel like things are being cleared out of your way though because the um the elephant always represents kind of clearing clearing your way because it's obviously got a big trunk so it's kind of like the the animal that picks up the uh, tree trunks and things out of the way so it's kind of being really patient but also manifesting a really stable relationship and the more patient you are the more you're manifesting stable because it's going to be good for you and good for your energy okay so the main energy representing your relationship is the judgment you guys have gone through enough that's what i'm hearing you guys have gone through enough that's it you know you guys really are the one to really change things. I feel like you guys are the change makers in this in these groups. I feel like you guys are really the ones to change things up. And it's now time for you to manifest your person. And I feel like you're gonna get a grand message from somebody, especially if you guys have quite a big following on social media or you kind of are out there in terms of online. I feel like it's gonna be somebody who manifests for you and they make themselves known. So the Queen of Pentacles could be through work that you meet them as well. You have the eight of wands so you guys are going to be have something very unexpected and very quick there's definitely somebody who you're going to be married to we have the ten of cups so this is somebody who you love very much and you could love coffee <laughs> that could be like the, the, the thing that you love is coffee as well and with the seven of swords you may have an insecurity around connection and, and communication because maybe you've been re re rejected when you've had kind of communication come in you may have been rejected in terms of when you want to say something, it's it's felt quite intense and, and unimportant. It's almost like it's been shrugged off and not important. So for you guys, you'll really learn to speak your truth. You'll learn to work on your throat chakra. It could be something that's quite a big uh, synchronicity for you. And the Eight of Cups, it's funny because we have the Ten of Cups and the Eight of Cups. This is very much to do with marrying somebody and marrying up with an energy where you're able to really speak your truth and then you're then you're allowing yourself to let go of everything that hurt you and was painful it could be music is very important to you i'm really focusing on this guitar case and also this jukebox i feel like music is very important and it may have felt like things are very quiet around your love life but things will pick up um i'm hearing i promise you things will pick up i feel like some of you guys have a male guide I'm hearing like an Archangel Michael or like a masculine in in the higher realms, somebody who's passed away or even just an energy that supports you. Rabbits could be something that are very important in terms of a synchronicity, but also it could be flowers are a very big synchronicity. Okay. So let's see what else we have. So let's have a look at your charms. And uh, let's get a little bit more info. Bloop. Okay, shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake. <laughs> shake it, shake it, shake it. <laughs> okay. I'm hearing the theme song of Friends in my head. It's not really surprising, is it? Doing the friends related reading. It's it's gonna it's gonna come in, you know. Okay, let's get you some more letters. Boop. Get you a couple more. That one. Boop. Okay, so we have M. R, T, A, B, V. I'm hearing someone who's a martyr, somebody who basically makes drama out of nothing. So you could have manifested relationships like that and now it's kind of no more of that. Also, I'm hearing uh, Finland. So some of you guys might be from Finland. Okay, so things are unraveling in your relationship. It may feel like stop and start, but it's gonna it's gonna manifest really nicely for you. So just be aware of that. We also have a Thursday here, so it could be a day that's quite significant. We have peace and we have this grenade, so things are going to be kind of intensifying before you meet this person. It's going to be like possibly letting go of drama, so as you're letting go of it, it might be quite difficult for you. It could be like a lot of teary, teary days, but that's okay because you're coming into a more calmer place. It's kind of like the calm after the storm 
We also have this coin, so definitely around money that's going to be significant for you in your love life. I feel like you're going to be quite wealthy or quite well off or starting a new business. There's definitely something around growth, around your, I'm hearing the word temperance. Do we have temperance? I'm not sure as a card, but there's definitely something around your love life. You're learning to, to be stable and kind of be in your own energy and not be swayed by anyone else's opinions. So we have the marble here, which represents the world. So that's basically a brand new cycle. You could be very worldly. You could want to travel with this person. I do feel like music is very important. And with the bead, I feel like this person could be into jewellery or you're into jewellery or you you have something very significant around crafts and things. You could both be very crafty in terms of like, you know, hands-on crafts. Both of you are very sim, uh, symb symbolistic, sim what's the word? Synchronistic, sorry. Very synchronistic, but there is some sort of symbol that, connects you so both of you could be when you talk to this person you're like oh my god I've been through that or they say I've been through that you know you're very very synchronistic and s similar people thank you for the word I was getting tongue-tied then so we have the mermaid and a fish so this could be all about this person being manifested around water so you could move to near the beach you could be uh feeling like they need to drink more water it could be something around water but also this person could be a Pisces that sort of thing Okay, let's get you some star signs. We have Capricorn, Aries. I was getting quite big Aries from this group. You have Gemini. And I was literally going to say Virgo, and we have Virgo. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. If you'd like to check out my crystal shop, also down below. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.